Hello and welcome back to the Dragon Quest on this. Today, we are finally going to talk to the old hermit. It seems we are too late. Is this the hermit we came in search of? Hmm. Unfortunately so. He was in deep meditation when he breathed his last. I am glad at least that he was prepared to meet his fate. You sure about that? He looks familiar. Could it... Oh? I think I know who it is. Incredible! <laughs> it's your words of the Ogler's Digest. And mint condition. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what I thought. So we're gonna use this against you later. But this, this is one of the royal treasures of Dundrasil. Why would a little bit of 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 a Dead. No, he Were you watching the side story, Cedric? What? The spirit hovers in the place between life and death. It is only a matter of time before he passes the point of no return. But there may yet be a way to save him. If you were to follow him into the void, you might be able to bring him back. Seems risky. You know what that means? Rather than avoid. Do you remember his side stories? Rab met Master Pain. So, guess where we're going? It is time to depart to the place the Grandmaster. Who is dead? I mean, we're not going to consider avoid. And no, we cannot take our companion with us. Worry about it. Just if he uh, acts weird, you know what to do. You know what to do, Hendrick. You know what to do. Put my faith in you. Here we are, Mary Rose Place. This is kind of a fair example. Well, I don't know if I should talk about that now. Soul into my domain. 
Side stories kind of are a mixed bag. They were added to the definitive, edi the, the definitive edition. They weren't in the original side stories that you do before starting Act 2. The reason they're a mixed bag is because, well, originally, for example, here at Rav, you would find Rav up on the mountain, and you wouldn't know what happened to him. Is he okay? Can we get him back? What happened to Rav? Is he dead? You know, but knowing side stories we keeps doing kind of ruins the mystery a little, admittedly. But by the sky, darn it. We're gonna keep going. I will explain in simple terms that even an idiot That may be the wrong context. As you see, I'm not sure. Really. Are you? It is a place of nothing. We were talking to Master Peg. The bunny girl. Wait, what? Departed souls would come here before returning to the world tree. But now that the tree is gone, it is a place with an entrance but no We need to save Lumine's grandfather. Well, yeah, we need to save him. Because he was just training. Whatever the case, let's go see him. I think I've done a poll on what LP video game should be next. I definitely think it should be a game, so I'm interested in playing. I thought of doing a uh, child's mana blind, but I don't know. I have it on the Switch, but I could also do it blind, but with translation patch. Hmm. On the SNES. Well, I don't know. It would be nice to play it blind myself on my Switch, I guess. In case you're wondering, Trials of Mana is a third game in the Mana series. The first we actually already played. That being Adventures of Mana. Or Final Fantasy Adventure. Or Mystic Quest. That Game Boy game we played earlier. <laughs> that I made a joke about in the beginning of this LP. Yes, third game to that. And what's crit? Well. I was playing Secret of Mana myself, in my own time. I like it. I don't know if I want to do a playthrough of it. I could do Trials Blind. Could be fun. No. The thing I like about non-blind is the fact that you can skip things, you can fix errors, you can... Especially post commentary. However, blind, blind is an experience where you get to experience the game with its fans or people that don't like it. People love it or don't. It's fun. Of course, live commentary with blind LPs would be preferred. I remember trying to do Tales of Vesperia Blind. I'm having a lot of problems though. Because I got a lot of issues. Which makes me have to pause recording constantly. When it comes to talking. That's another reason why I like post-commentary. Is that I can edit that out. 
I don't really have commentary when I can talk. With Asperia, that's why the commentary stopped. It's, it's couldn't do it anymore. After wondering, yeah, I played Vesperia. I played off screen. I beat it and I loved it. It was a really good game. <laughs> Finished it off screen. So I didn't just set the game down and never play it again. I did beat it. And that was that. And just post, you can edit out stuff. That's what I like most. I'm live, it's kind of... Especially if you're streaming. Wait. The thing is too, I've played a lot of video games. Especially RPGs and they... Uh, Super Mario 64 is the first game I ever played. Nineties. I don't think I would um, play Super Mario 64. Eh. He wouldn't be blind anyway. Oh. Not Final Fantasy. Well, Final Fantasy 2 was blind. That was fun. But I couldn't really, I guess if I continued to send my Brian from Blind Final Fantasy 3, but oh my. meh. Is it really you, I played the DS version all the way through. Well. Now the game series, I've played most of the Final Fantasy games. So I couldn't really do them blind, I'm sorry. No I couldn't. There's some Dragon Quest games I can do blind, but... Not in Final Fantasy, I've played most of them. No, most of them. Some I haven't. But the ones that I haven't played, I have no interest in playing. Or I played, I just didn't like it. You know it's bad when you refuse to finish 13, but we'll watch someone completely play it. But finish Final Fantasy 2. <laughs> I'd be completely fine with that. Final Fantasy 2 is a guilty pleasure of mine. I guess that makes me masochistic. When it comes to Dragon Quest, um, I played this game, you already know that. I played 9, which was my very first one, all the way through. And I played Dragon Quest 6 all the way through. I played a teeny, teeny bit of Dragon Quest 2, but only like a sliver of it, like a few seconds. I played Dragon Quest Builders too. This was a continuation of the second game. I guess. Kinda? Sorta? Maybe? Partially? I won't spoil why. I did love that game. Best partner ever. Uh, I never played Dragon Quest 3, but I hear it's a good game. That could be on the board. Besides, it might be good to play Dragon Quest 3, considering things involving this game that I won't spoil. <sighs> never played Dragon Quest 8. I hear it's great, but I never played it. That's why I'm not raving about it, because I didn't play it. <laughs> so I couldn't really... 
It wouldn't be right to say something about a game you haven't played. I thought about doing a uh, let's play bad games. Serious, I think that'd be fun. You know, where I just play terrible games. Or what's supposed to be terrible. Oh man, but there's so much bad games on consoles that I can't get to. Oh. Zelda. I play a lot of Zelda games. I've played the Shadow Hearts games, if anyone was wondering. The Shadow Hearts games will not be blind. I loved Shadow Hearts 1 and 2. They were so good. Yes, I played Kingdom Hearts games, except for Melodies of Memories. Forget it. I'm not playing that game. I'm not touching it. Kingdom Hearts is kind of a touchy subject. Loved it at first. Had some good times with it. But it's not up there in <laughs> my favorite series anymore. I've played Ace of Tune. I've played all the games. Well, I played the whole trilogy all the way through. Because I own the trilogy. Uh, I didn't play Saturni 4, 5, and 6, but I watched them play from start to finish. So, so no point. Because Ace Attorney is a series that, honestly, I think it's at its best when it's blind. You know what you're doing, I don't think it's that good. I actually did do a playthrough, or almost did, in the Forbidden Days. Forbidden days, I mean, when I deleted mostly everything on my channel. Days. I would hate to go for another channel purge. That would suck. I remember I was also to go with some one blonde. No, I didn't run. One son, two is not as well, of course. Nor is Dark Dawn. Awesome. I love to actually you watch me. Luminary, prepare yourself. Beat back the onslaught. Um, you use it, the it will I've played uh, I just got a lot of interest in Secret Stones. I was doing it blind. And I haven't finished it. So I guess I could return to it. My first fire emblem was Path of Radiance. Meh. It was a great game. But I wouldn't play it. Same with Awakening Fates, Three Houses. Laid them all the way through. And FE4, Genealogy of the Holy War. Laid it all the way through. Actually had a blind playthrough of it originally, but again, it was during the Purge era of my channel. When I played that blind. <laughs> Same with Chrono Trigger, which I was playing blind. But also was purged from my channel. So it tells me this. Purged. Yeah, you notice there was quite a bit of games that were purged in those days. From my channel. I wonder how long ago that was. Um. Maybe about four, four to five years ago, um, I think. Let's see, my very first video was eight years ago. My very first video on my channel. And the old stuff kind of caps at seven to eight years ago. Uh, then I took a three year break. So... 
One second, I can check this. Yeah, I can check this. Give me a second. Yes, I am actually going to my channel. Right now. Yeah, we beat Rev. <laughs> oh yes, wonderful! I couldn't have beaten him more soundly myself. I must say, I doubted you had it in you. Four years. It was four years ago. And for once, that is no bad thing. Yes, there was a three-year. So technically those videos will probably be about six or five years old that are gone. I actually tried to find for the anniversary video a video from that time, but I couldn't because I literally deleted everything. Every video I deleted. I got rid of all the evidence that they ever existed to, so sorry. You can't find them. That part of my channel's history is gone. Long gone. You weren't too much of an embarrassment, no. Perhaps I finally have a disciple worthy of the name. Four years ago is when I came back to my channel. Then I took a three year hiatus for three years. I don't know if I'll ever leave again though, I mean, I came back after three years, four years ago. I don't think so, I mean, I can't leave you guys. You guys have been so good. I can't do that. And it looks like Morgan found us. Morgan. Yeah, obviously we had to fight Rap to learn to move. Sorry, I wasn't really talking about that. There was one last thing I kind of rap on about video game nonsense. She's trying to protect us. We're gonna go. We're to go with other one, dog. Sheesh, lady. Why are you hiding everything from us? You're dead. You're me. Well, I'll teach it to us. So that we can get out of here. Get back to our friends. Yeah, we're gonna get Rap back. You didn't have to get wrapped back at this moment, but I wanted to. Why? Because the rap can heal us. That's why. Yeah, the luminary can heal and Hintra can heal technically. But <laughs> why would you have the luminary or Hintra healing you? When they should be attacking <laughs> or buffing us. Spirit Bomb. Kamehameha. The Dragon Balls. And boom, shakalaka. Reminds me of Attack for Guns on the last stage called Odyssey. Kind of does that. I think it was a good set as well. That's been a while. Sue me.
there's any RPGs that you wouldn't mind playing that I can play. I wouldn't mind it. It'd be fun. Goodbye. Rest in peace. Thank you catching us. We must get him to the temple right away. Oh, finally. Rab wakes up and <laughs> he sees us unconscious. See, he's a little man there and he jerk. What does Rab do? Eh, nothing. Because <laughs> he's unconscious as well. Oh. You are Hello. Good. I feared you had suffered some lasting injury. Just waiting for me to wake up. Robert awoke a short while ago. So it seems to be. Speaking with the High Lama. We should join him. Oh, we should go see him. Come on, let's go. Spoiler man. Spoiler man, he does everything Spoiler man does. <laughs> word, yeah, but slacking a bit of Johnny Party Talks. So there you go. Really? Moving on. No, <laughs> oh. really nice. It kind of implies that uh, that Hendrick may carry us back. That's kind of nice. Oh, we gotta go meet Rab. Rabbity rap 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 rap. I do hope you guys enjoyed this. And next time, we destroy the world now. We save the world. And Rab is not skinny anymore. <laughs> it's your physique. I know some of these lines of this game by heart at this point. More like we don't want to update the model. He can have he can keep his old character model. That's what that's translation for. I hope you guys do it this one. Well, Sorry, I don't have a good day. If you need someone to keep you sane, that could be a girl. No, that's what I heard. Yeah, bye. Have a good day, guys. It is the least I could do to make amends for all the wrongs I have done. Indeed, I feel I must apologize. Ah, don't torture yourself over it, son. We've all been pawns in Mordigan's game. You have nothing to apologize for. Thank you. Truly. What do you intend to do now? We had hoped to find guidance here in Angry La, but alas, we find ourselves at an impasse. Well, funnily enough, I was just thinking about something Grandmaster Pang told me. She said Old Erwin used a very special form of transport when he went after the Dark One. Some sort of sacred flying contraption. Whatever could that mean? I didn't get the chance to ask her any more about it. But it sounds like just what we need to get up to that castle and knock Mordigan off his perch. As for our old friends, 
None of them were exactly the giving up type, eh? If I'm still alive and kicking, you can bet the rest of them are out there somewhere. So, what say we head over to Arborea and keep an eye out for our pals on the way? If this flying doodad's supposed to be sacred, the folks over there will know something about it for sure. There's no time to lose. The longer we wait, the stronger Mordigan gets. So, let's get going. Honored Luminary, we disciples of Angrila will do all that we can to aid you in your preparations to take on the Lord of Shadows. We have even devised a special training regime for you. Visit us again soon. We will stand ready to help you hone your powers. Mm -hmm. 